Welcome back to Ben's garage. We're in the garage. <laughs> Today is gonna to be the next installment of Ben's Garage Goes Solar. We've almost got everything we need uh, so today I'm building up the framework for the solar panels. We've got the solar panels, they're sat behind me, six of those. 380 watt Trina solar, I think. 24 volt, so wired in parallel, uh, no, wired in series, that'll be about 144 volts. About just under 10 amps and potentially, well, it rates at about just over two, 2,200 watts of power, but you'll never ever get full capacity. Um, so I've opted to go for this frame, it's a modular frame, you bolt it all together. It's by GSE Ground Care Ground Systems or something. I did have to order some extra pieces for these solar panels, there's some different rails that go on it and some different clips that hold the solar panels on. But you build up these boxes, the frame goes on it solar panels bolt onto that and you fill the boxes up with ballast so that'll be the next issue <laughs> and they're quite big these boxes so I've I've made a start it is a little bit awkward being in the wheelchair but I'm gonna stick the old time lapse on and um, see what we can come up with for this I, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting these outside on this video we'll have to see how it goes building these it, <laughs> It's not difficult, but it's getting it in a position where I can reach everything. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, so all the inverter and everything's up on the wall. The solar panels are here. We're going to get these in up. I've ordered some extra cable because we're moving location where we was having the solar panels just outside the back door, basically. But we've both decided we're going to put them out, out in the garden over towards the back of the polytunnel. There's no obstructions there. We can orientate them to face south uh, and then we can add another solar array as and when we've got the money. We have ordered two lithium batteries. We, we had already ordered and paid for two lithium batteries, but um, there's shipping issues. Oh, here we go. Of course, coming from China. So I've gone for the next model up because they had those in stock. Surprise, surprise, more expensive. <laughs> but anyway, that's two lithium, but I'll show you when they get here because I've got a, a server rack that I'm gonna bolt them into. Uh, they're Pylon Tech, uh, three, 3.5 kilowatt hours. So combined, that way it's just over three, it's about 3.6 kilowatt hours. So the two of those wired in series will give us 48 volts and um, not wired in series, are they? They're wired in parallel for uh, the batteries. So yeah, they're both 48 volt batteries, so it'll be 48 volts, and that'll give us over seven kilowatt hours of battery. Now we don't use that much electric, so I'm hoping that the seven kilowatt hours will keep us going through the night, and if they're charged up and we don't get any sun for a couple of days, then that'll see us, you know, See, so it's right, but at the moment we're not going off grid. As I've said in previous videos, we're still going to be tied to the grid and the inverter will be set up. At the moment, will be you can have it set up so different priorities. So you can have solar battery utility, utility solar battery, but I'll be having it set up for solar utility and battery because obviously we won't have batteries plugged into it to start with, but... It will use the solar power first, and if it hasn't, if the solar power isn't making enough for the demand, then it tops it up with utility power. That's the plan, but uh, that's a little bit further down the line. We've got to get all the solar array set up yet and wired in. So I'll get the old time lapse on, and we'll see about making these boxes. That's two of them mate, one more to go. <sighs> that might be all I do on this video. Um, 
Yeah, these are going to be quite substantial. We've got to get quite a lot of ballast in these because obviously if you imagine six solar panels, uh, which are that big, I don't know how tall they are, 1.8 metres tall by just over a metre wide, that's going to act like quite a bit of a sail in the garden. And where we're going to position them, it's sort of fairly open, so we really need to get these solid so that um, the wind can't just pick them up and throw them across the garden. But I think we'll be all right. These are quite big, as you'd have seen on the uh, the bit of B-roll that I've just put on. I've got two made. Um, Hobbit's working tomorrow, so I think whenever she's finished, if she's, we'll get out and um, I'll get the third one done today, but I won't bore you with that because I don't suppose you're that interested. But <laughs> some of you out there are interested in this solar project. Um, I'm getting quite excited about it actually, um, to be able to not get off grid, but to generate our own power. I know it has cost a little bit of money and with the batteries that we've had to buy, they're a little bit more expensive than the original ones we were gonna buy, but they're a larger capacity. So hopefully that will uh, that will see us right. But um, yeah, so these are all done. The rails are just over two meters long. So we have three of those bolted, to, screwed together We've got these channel lock channel things here with holes in. They go around the outside and there's like a self-tapping bolt that goes through, two on each rail. So there'll be two of those, three rails across, and that'll give us six, six point uh, three meters. And I say these are just over a meter wide, these um, panels, so that'll be enough room. But yeah, getting quite excited. There's still a lot of work to do. Being in a wheelchair doesn't help. I mean, if I was able-bodied, the thing would be up and running by now. But we're dictated a little bit by the weather. It's been absolutely silent down with rain for days and days. But we've had this sat in the garage for just over a week now. So I thought I'll come out and uh, get them built up and then they're ready for putting outside. So I think the putting it outside will be in the next video. Um, we're going to run the cables up into the house, we're going to sink them in the ground, we're, uh, you know, we're going to put the cables in conduit, which I ordered, it had turned up today, but the delivery driver wheeled off a toilet, Tina quickly unwrapped the, took the paperwork out and it said conduit, 63mm conduit, it's just like a, a roll of stuff, uh, 50 metres of it. Um, so the paperwork was right, but the actual object wasn't, so we've sent that back. So yeah, next video, hopefully we'll get this all outside, set up, wired up into the house, and uh, we'll take it from there. The batteries might even be here by then. Uh, you never know. So, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.